Sigmoidoscopy, Flexible Procedure Method The physician inserts the sigmoidoscope into the anus and advances the scope into the sigmoid colon. The lumen of the sigmoid colon and rectum are visualized. The sigmoidoscope is withdrawn at the completion of the procedure. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, diagnostic, including collection of specimen, S, by brushing or washing, when performed. Brushings or washings may be obtained. With biopsy, single, or multiple. Biopsies are obtained with forceps placed through the scope. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with removal of foreign body, S. The foreign body is identified and removed with a snare or forceps placed through the sigmoidoscope. With removal of tumor, S, polyp, S, or other lesion, S, by hot biopsy forceps. The tumor, polyp, or other lesion is identified and removed with hot biopsy forceps or cautery. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible with control of bleeding, any method. The area of bleeding is controlled. With directed submucosal injection, S, any substance. Submucosal saline injections, for instance, may be done before polypectomy using snare and electrocautery to greatly enhance the effectiveness of resection for large sessile colorectal polyps. Our surgeon performed a sigmoidoscopy with endoscopic biopsy and, during the excision of the tissue specimen, the patient began bleeding from the site of the excision that was controlled endoscopically. Is it appropriate to report code 45334, sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with control of bleeding, e.g., injection, bipolar cautery, unipolar cautery, laser, heater probe, stapler? plasma coagulator, to describe the procedure performed? If not, what is the appropriate code? It would be inappropriate to report code 45334 because any control of iatrogenically caused bleeding is included in the procedure. Therefore, it is not appropriate to report code 45334. The correct code to report for the sigmoidoscopy with biopsy is 45331, sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with biopsy, single, or multiple. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with decompression, for pathologic distension, e.g., volvulus, megacolon including placement of decompression tube when performed. The sigmoidoscope is advanced into the volvulus decompressing the volvulus as the scope passes through the bowel lumen. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with removal of tumor, S, polyp, S, or other lesion, S, by snare technique. The tumor, polyp, or other lesions are identified and removed by snare technique. With ablation of tumor, S, polyp, S, or other lesions, S, includes pre- and post-dilation and guide wire passage, when performed. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with transendoscopic balloon dilation. Areas of stenosis are identified and a balloon catheter is passed to the point of constriction and a little beyond. The balloon is inflated to the appropriate diameter and gradually withdrawn through the stenosed area, stretching the walls of the bowel at the strictured area. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with endoscopic ultrasound examination. The sigmoidoscope is removed and replaced with an echoendoscope or an ultrasound probe is passed through the already placed sigmoidoscope. The echoendoscope or ultrasound probe is fitted with a water-filled balloon near the tip. The tip contains a transducer that picks up the ultrasound frequency and relays it to a processor, outside of the body. 
The water-filled tip is positioned in the sigmoid colon, against the colon wall next to the area of interest. The area is scanned and an ultrasound image is projected through the processor to a monitor in real time. When the ultrasound examination is complete the echoendoscope or esophagoscope an ultrasound probe is removed. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with transendoscopic ultrasound guided intramural or transmural fine needle aspiration slash biopsy, S. The sigmoidoscope may be removed. A radial scanning echoendoscope is inserted and ultrasound scanning is performed, or an ultrasound probe is passed through the already placed endoscope. The site for a fine needle aspiration biopsy is determined. If a radial scanning echoendoscope is used it is removed and is replaced with a curvilinear array echoendoscope. The echoendoscope or ultrasound probe is fitted with a water-filled balloon near the tip. The tip contains a transducer that picks up the ultrasound frequency and relays it to a processor, outside of the body. The water-filled tip is positioned in the sigmoid colon against the colon wall next to the predetermined fine needle aspiration, FNA, biopsy site. The area is scanned and an ultrasound image is projected through the processor to a monitor in real time. A FNA needle is passed through the scope to the biopsy site and a biopsy is taken of the tissue or the needle is inserted through the wall of the tissue into the lesion, or other structure, such as a lymph node. The area is biopsied. When the FNA is complete the echoendoscope or sigmoidoscope and ultrasound probe is removed. Sigmoidoscopy, flexible, with placement of endoscopic stent includes pre- and post-dilation and guide wire passage, when performed. With endoscopic mucosal resection. With band ligation, S, e.g., hemorrhoids. <laughs>